egg woods and the cabbages. Eggwood's branch line runs from the station at the bottom of Gordon's Hill. It goes along the coast to a port where the twin tank engines Bill and Ben work. Eggwood and Boko run this line and Donald and Douglas, the Scottish twins, help them when things are busy. They all work happily together. The trains don't need to go fast, but it is not often that they keep the big engines waiting. Usually, it's the big engines who were late. One morning, James was delayed at the big station and Edward had to wait for him. When at last he could start, he wanted to hurry to make up for lost time. Steady, Edward, calls his driver. I know we're late, but an accident will make us even later. Edward slowed, but as he approached the next station, his wheels jolted badly at some point. When it was stopped at the platform, the fireman checked him all over, but everything seemed to be in order. Edward set off again. He was beginning to gain speed when he began to feel funny. My front's all wobbly, he complained. Scarcely he had said it, then the fireman saw something bumping on the line beside them. Jiminy Christmas! Look at that! he exclaimed. Quickly, the driver crossed the cab, and both lost in horror as a round metal object rolled along beside them like a hoop. After a while, it hit a stone and bounced away into a field. Very carefully, the driver applied the brakes, and Edward came safely to a halt. He was glad, because his front now felt very loose. The driver and fireman climbed down to look came to look at his wheel. There was no doubt what the trouble was. One of them wasn't there. One of your bogey wheels has broken off, said the driver. Thank goodness we're on a straight track and not going too fast. There could have been a nasty accident. Later, the fat controller's telephone rang. He listened in astonishment. What did you say? An engine's wheel in your cabbages? I quite agree. It must have been a great surprise. What of Edwards do you think? Is he alright? Thank you. I'll see to it at once. The fat controller put the telephone down and mopped his face in a red and white spotted handkerchief. Bless my soul, he said to himself. It's a good thing Edward didn't end up in the cabbages himself. Next day, Boko helped Edward to the works. Edward's wheel, broken off where the axle joined it, but otherwise undamaged, troubled in his tender. The fat controller came to see him. You had a lucky escape, Edward, he said, but there's no harm done. I just hope we can get you mended before the Golden Jubilee celebrations. Oh, and by the way, the farmer says that if your driver wants cabbages in future, there are much safer ways of cutting them.